Jesus, I forgot to wear an actual shirt. Uh, I keep forgetting to turn the gosh darn light on. But how am I supposed to end up looking like a professional when I don't turn my gosh darn light on? So frustrating. Okay. Uh, uh, Jesus, it's not even on. Okay. I'm tired of messing with you, you jerk bag. Uh, uh, oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I'm, I'm leaving this in. Whatever, we're gonna have grainy footage, it's fine. Okay guys, now that that's out the way, um, let me level with you guys real quick. If you look here, I guess I'll put it over here, you can see I've played a lot of this game, this UFC game, man. And with the announcement of UFC 2 coming out, <sighs> so professional, uh, it's just hard for me to get into it anymore and so I want to keep making YouTube videos but I needed a new idea and I think I found it you see I have this game called King of Coliseum 2 and it's, it's, it's one of the best wrestling games out there and one of the if, if you know me which you probably do if you just subscribe to me you know that wrestling is one of my biggest passions so check this out I have an idea. I have an idea. My light's freaking out on me. Okay. I have an idea for a 16 man tournament. And, um, so this is going to be the end of me right now. I am going to go to a video that I recorded previously from this game. And, uh,. And I'm going to show you that, just so you can see what this game is like. And then I'm going to have a big project coming up for the introduction of all the people that are going to be in the tournament. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing for the next month, month and a half or so. I have a lot of time, I don't care. So, let's get started. Roll the tape. Baby! Hello and welcome to Kurgan Hall, where we have this special one-time only match. This man... As he steps out into the curtain, through the curtain, you will see it is the Prince of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Now this is before uh, he got his King of Strong Style persona, but he's still a heavy hitter, a big striker, and the king of the Shining Triangle. And his opponent on his way out to the curtain is the man who was recently injured in his match with Kazushika Okada. It is Kuyoshori Shibata. Shibata, known for his stiff kick and most importantly, the penalty kick. We'll knock your head off of that and we'll see if you can knock Shinsuke's head off right now. Shibata Nakamura standing. Let's lay out for the call from our announcer. It's gonna be hard to stay quiet. <laughs> I thought you because I'm gonna cut it out.
Kazuo Ishibata ready to go. Shinsuke ready to go. Red shoes in our, our referee. And here we go. They step to the center of the ring as the gong sounds. And immediately they go after it with the strikes. Big European uppercut on the inside. Stiff kick to the gut, followed by a big chop, counter chop again by Shinsuke. Bucking up against these strikes from Shibata is not an easy thing to do, but Shinsuke seems to be doing it well. Drop toe hold from Shibata. Shibata looking for something big here. No, just an elbow to the nape of the neck. Now back suplex position. Eats a trifecta of elbows to his nape. And now double leg takedown, as we may have mentioned before. Both these men, very prominent shoot fighters. And I haven't mentioned that. I'm sorry. Oh, triangle attempt. Almost got it in. Looks for a heel hook roll through into the guard of Shibata. And Shibata able to crawl his way out. Low kick. Now back to the back suplex position as he drops the knee onto the knee. That's a shin breaker right there. Snapmare from Nakamura. Kick to the gut from Shibata as Nakamura was looking to set something up, able to avoid the strike. Both has been very quick. Big right hook sends Shibata reeling. But he returns the favor with a middle kick. Elbow on the inside. Low kick again. Both these men very prominent with their strikes. Now look at this. Shibata dumping Nakamura to the outside. Looks to give chase. Head kick! Oh my, what a thunderous head kick. And knock Nakamura down to the ground. Now remember in Japan, we have a 20 count on the outside instead of the American or the Western tin count. Oh, multiple kicks thrown by Shinsuke Nakamura right on the spleen section, and now Juji Katami, AKA the arm bar. Had it locked in on the outside, but you can't get the victory out here. Here we go, back to the ring. Both men getting in by the 11 count. Shibata looking for something big again. Big elbow to the face. Oh, look at this. Rolling guillotine choke. But he was too close to the road. Shibata, excellent ring, ring awareness. Excuse me. Oh, countered that middle kick with one of his own. The Shinsuke. Drop toe hold by Shibata. A great binding leg turn around. Look at this. A modified regal stretch. You no, know, really, Regal would hook the arm around the head. That's how he'd set that up, but Shibata is just as effective. Almost like a camel clutch type maneuver. Drops down with fireman carry from Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura dragging him to the center of the ring, probably setting up for something big here. Stomp to the, stomp to the back of the knee. Oh, elbow on the inside. Shibata now working the knees. Say, you want to work my knees? I'll work my knees until you start them. Oh, no. Shinsuke probably looking for something. Eats an elbow. Head kick again. The head kicks of Shibata are something to behold. Well, he sets him up, probably. No. Nakamura smart enough to get right out of that situation. Well, look at this. Corner to corner. Hammer throw. Nakamura with a lot of room. Big drop kick to the head. Not a lot of space to work with when you're in that corner. Oh boy, Nakamura firing up. What's he got planned here? German suplex. Right on the top of the head. And now he's got that rope on, pulling it back. Juju Katami again, but the legs of Shipata. Right on the ropes, referee Red Shoes Uno, right on top of the action. Another middle kick, double it up this time. Oh no, got him again, rolling guillotine. But again, the legs directly under the ropes. 
Nakamura having control of this matchup, but he needs to work on his ring positioning, that's for sure. Oh wait, Dragon two plus the two. Can't get it there. Breaks out of the hole. Now they're right back to the center of the ring, circling each other. Tie up, call an elbow, drop Toho from Shibata again. What's he looking for now? Oh, clothesline ducked under. German suplex again. This time with the hold. One, two. Just the two counts this time. First near fall of the matchup. As we have plenty of time left to go. 60 minute contest. Look for, look for a vertical suplex. Drop down into another GFT hold. The neck of Shibata is being worked on as Nakamura has that cinched in. Able to fight out of it though is Shibata. Well, look at this arm ringer. And then wrenches on it once. Goes after that left arm once again. It's a pair of elbows to the shoulder joint. Both these men Excellent submissions, best of this as well. As you may have seen from Nakamura in his plethora of submissions. As three kicks land to his sternum. The shining triangle. One of his most deadly finishing maneuvers. Head kick from Shibata. Shibata looking for the cover. Lateral press. One, two. Able to fly out of it is Shinsuke. Shibata again with these kicks. The most dangerous kicks in the game. Oh my goodness, what a head kick on a kneeling opponent. Knock them all right back up though. Firing up again. Shibata ducks down, snap suplex again. Oh boy, you see how Shinsuke is holding his back. Not a good sign. Oh my goodness. Penalty kick. But Nakamura's right back up. Oh, caught the arm into a Fujiwara arm bar. Again, working the arms of Nakamura for a possible submission attempt later on in the fight. Big time elbow shuts all that down though. Nakamura, big right hook. Keller will lock up again. He's going to press him rope to rope, hammer throw. What's Nakamura got planned here? Spear! Huge spear by Nakamura. Oh no, shining triangle. Can't Shibata get to the ropes? He does get there. Well, how much damage did that do? Snap suplex again. And again, you see Nakamura holding that lower back. Now, Shibata picking him up. Looks for a German. Can't find it. Another spear from Nakamura. Another huge spear from Nakamura. As he looks to regain some wind. After that failed shining triangle, that takes a lot out of you. Looks for it again. Shibata able to get up. Another arm ringer on the left arm drops down Fujiwara armbar. Again, working that shoulder, that elbow, all of that, all of that is pressure when you put all your weight on it and pull back on that wrist. German, not there again. Wait, Kamara, rolling Kamara. But again, Shibata, well aware of where he's at on the ropes and now he's going to hang in the ropes to try to get some space. Smart move by Shibata. Getting in the ropes that Nakamura cannot get in. Looks for a middle kick, can't find it. Shibata, big slap to the face. Another time. Locks him up, sends him corner to corner. Reminiscent of what Nakamura did to him earlier. Not sure what that was all about, but here comes Shibata with the big elbow.
And now Shibata, maybe looking for that turn this time. Can he connect? Yes! Oh my God, did you see the angle of the neck that Nakamura had? He's calling for the end. Look at this, Pele kid! Amazing athleticism from Katsuyori Shibata. Oh boy, he's looking for something big again. Another pinnacle kick! Penalty kick with some extra mustard on it. But Nakamura is right back up to his feet. And that drop down surprise gives him. Crawling to the ropes as quickly as he can is Shibata. Maybe looking for another rolling guillotine. This time Shibata drops down to block it. The short toe kick to the to the solar plexus. Can't find it. Oh, thought it was gonna be another snap shoot, but he faked him out into another Fujiwari armbar. He's been working the arm all day. Can Nakamura survive? He does. Coming over lock up again. Snap mare. Oh my goodness, he's setting up for another one. Pilly kick! Goes for the cover. This has got to be it. Two count. Oh my god, 2.9. 2.9. How do you get his shoulder up? How is Nakamura still in his? Shibata is almost out of options. He hit him with everything but the kitchen sink and then threw the kitchen sink at him and couldn't get, get him put away. Elbow by Nakamura. Looking for something here. Slaps the hand away, toe kick. Rope to rope this time. Shibata stalking his prey. Sets him up. Shibata take down. STO. Huge STO by Shibata. And a kick to that injured lower back as we've seen him grabbing it throughout the match. Surprise gives him again. Shibata's been going to the well one too many times. And now Nakamura seems to have a handle on his tricks. Big middle kick. Knocks down Nakamura. Oh my goodness, another head kick. Now focus on the legs, figure four leg lock. No, a kneeling figure four. But Nakamura, well aware of where he's at. Able to get his head under the ropes. Shibata looks for something with the arm. Can't find it. It has a pair of elbows thrown into the shoulder joint for his trouble. Back at this again. Oh, fake him out. Hit him with the elbow. Nakamura unfazed. Drop to hold. Nakamura struggling to get to his feet. Shibata's going to catch him with a fifth head kick of the match. Goes for the cover. Could he have knocked him out? Could he have knocked him out? It seems like he did. Three count fall. What wonderful work by Shibata. The heart and determination and also the skill to be able to avoid all those submission maneuvers from Shinsuke Nakamura. You see Nakamura obviously disappointed in himself. Shibata fired up, but seems to have collapsed in the ring. <laughs> that was an exhausting match to watch, more or less to call. Hey, while that match was happening, I found a shirt. You know, you know, check, check this out, check this out. Yeah, yeah this is facts. But, you know, uh, speaking of facts, uh, let me know if it was a fact that you enjoyed it, because I know I enjoyed it. And when I enjoy things, I work extra hard in making them super special. And so, if you if you guys like it, I'm going to go balls to the wall all out on this, alright? But, uh, so, by the way, speaking of balls to the wall, that match was freaking insane. And so, I think that after something like that, both those guys deserve to be in this 16-man tournament. It's going to be Katsuyori Shibata, the winner of that match. Uh, not against Shinsuke Nakamura. They're going to be on opposite ends of the bracket so that they don't face each other again. Unless it's in the semifinals or the finals. They have to fight through three or four competitors. It depends on how I set up the bracket. I'm going to have a big introduction video 
very well edited video, hopefully, um, on all the fighters that are going to be involved in this 16-man King of Coliseum tournament. And this uh, this tournament is going to help crown the first uh, Baby Whack Channel Champion. How about that? <laughs> This is so stupid. I love it though. I love it. I love wrestling. I love calling matches of any kind. And I think both these guys have a lot of potential and could potentially win this thing. But that's for that's by the by. We have 14 other competitors to introduce you to. And so after this video goes out next week we're going to have that video and then we can show the bracket and everything and it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time it's gonna be a fun time all right this video is already too long enjoy your life baby